man, this is about to get real different real quick. Uh, all right, yeah. Um, so uh, I, I am very aware that Game of Thrones was a book before it was a TV show. Um, and just for the nerd that's about to get mad about what I'm about to say, let me just say aloud, I know it was a book first, I see you. <laughs> and let me also say that as a graduate of DC Public Schools, I don't read. So, Arya Stark. Arya Stark is one of my favorite characters in all of fiction. She is a character from the Game of Thrones and she is a gangster. And Arya had a sword instructor that would have the same mantra that he would say to her every day they practice sword fighting. And that mantra, he would ask her this question. He would say, what do we say to the God of death? And her response was, not today. I loved that so much when I was watching that show. I was like, that's some gangsters. Gangsters, yo, I love that. I say it to myself all the time. I went, I went running with the bulls in 2019, and when I didn't get gored, so what do we say to the God of death? Not today. I accidentally walked into a neo-Nazi rally, and I didn't get crucified. What did I say to myself when I got back to my hostel? Not today. And every time I drive into Maryland, the Hunger Games, <laughs> hellscape, dystopian, Mad Max state that that place is, and I arrive back home to the District of Columbia safe and sound, I ask myself that question, what do we say to the God of death? Not today. So, if there's one thing all of you Virginians and adopted Virginians and me, native Washingtonian, I hope we can agree on is that Maryland drivers are the worst drivers in the DMV. Amen. Thank you. Good night. But I also know that when you're new, you're not as good. And when I was first learning how to drive, I'm a good driver, but like I was new and I had to learn some stuff. And so uh, when I was 16, I had a brand new shiny DC driver's license and I get sent to the store, my mom's car, to go pick up some things from the grocery. And so I get to the store safe and sound that I'm pulling in front first into this parking space that this matters. And as I pull into this parking spot, front first, I pull in too close to the car in the next parking spot and I, and I hit it, but I'm, like, I'm pulling in slow because I'm, I'm, I'm new, but you know, I'm responsible. So it's slow, but it's still too close. And I immediately get out to see what, what had happened. And what had happened was, is there's no damage on the other car, but the, pressure between my mom's car and the other car when I pulled up too close, it shattered one of the headlights on my mom's car. And Game of Thrones wasn't out when I was 16, but I was definitely thinking, today is the day I die. Like, what was out was that Don McLean song, Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Today will be the day that I die. For sure, dead. And I'm at the grocery store, and so I'm like, this is what I got, I'm, I'm gonna get all the groceries, gotta make sure I, like, when I go home, I have to have everything she asked for on the list, but I also, I'm gonna get some super glue, I'm gonna get some cotton balls, and I'm gonna glue the, the headlight back together. And anybody who's ever tried to glue anything glass-like back together, you know it's not possible. And so I did my best patchwork job on this headlight, but I, I bought the cotton balls, because I knew, I had, like I'm 16, I'd used super glue before. I didn't want it on my fingers, so I used the cotton balls, but the cotton is coming off on the glue, and so it's not only is it a broken headlight, now it's a fuzzy headlight. <laughs> and it's obvious, it's so obvious, it's bad, it's real bad, and I'm gonna die. And I did everything. It was like Scooby-Doo level hijinks <laughs> for like weeks trying to hide this car damage from my mother. So I would do stuff like 
like when I knew like when, when you walked out of our front door, I would like park the car in a way where like you would walk on the side where there wasn't the car damage. And I would like do things where like if we were leaving the house together, I would hold her door open like I was the chauffeur. Like anything to distract this woman from seeing the damage on this vehicle. And then one day, me, my mother, and my sister, we pile into the car and we're driving to my uncle's house for Christmas in Bowie, Maryland, the belly of the beast. <laughs> and we're hitting 295, leaving DC, we're heading up to Bowie, Maryland, and we get off on this exit. And it's, I told you this Christmas time, it's winter and it's, it's snowy and it's icy and she turns off on this exit and on the curve, she hits a patch of ice and the car starts doing a cha-cha slide. <laughs> slides to the left, <laughs> slides to the right. One crash this time. <laughs> it was one of those exits that had a guardrail and she hit the, the metal guardrail and of course, so she's in her car with her two babies, and so she gets out and she's flustered and she's looking at the damage of the car and she's, she's got her hands on her hips and she's worried about the damage. She's like, oh man, now I gotta go to the auto shop. And my sister gets out of the car and she looks at what's going on and my sister's very empathic and my, my mom's upset, so my sister's upset and she, they're both sad, hands on hips. And then I get out and I look at the damage. It's a Christmas miracle. Dahoo, Doris, Dahoo, Doris, welcome. So, um, not only did she hit that guardrail in the exact spot where there was a fuzzy headlight, that was the only spot that she hit the guardrail. And it was at, at that exact moment when I heard a strong wind and there was a voice on that wind <laughs> traveling through time like Doc Brown and Marty. And that voice on the wind through time asked me a question. <laughs> and that question was, what do we say to the God of death? And I said, not today. <laughs> Epilogue. I don't think I can overstate this. I'm a good driver. <laughs> I am one of those people that likes to back into parking spaces. And I'll, be, I'll hang out with people, I'll be going places with people, and they're like, yo, why are you trying to, sh why are you showing off? Backing into this parking space. Why don't you just pull into the parking space like regular humans? And I say, look here, Maryland driver. It's not ego, it's trauma. When I was 16, I pulled into a parking space front wise, and I don't do that shit no more. So the next time you're in a vehicle with a friend or a partner or whoever, and they back into a parking space, cut them some slack. They may have experienced a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.